Hey guys, this is Patrick McCann with McCann Customer Modeling and this video is about getting a HELOC or HELOAN, Home Equity Line of Credit, Home Equity Loan, and using that to finance your home remodeling project. How to do it, how to get one, and some quick tips that we found to make the whole process more fun and enjoyable. So there's a difference between a Home Equity Line of Credit and a Home Equity Loan. Now, Home Equity Line of Credit is basically what you, when you hear somebody say the term second mortgage, that's what they're talking about. And what that is, is you put up your home for collateral on a loan from a bank. Usually the bank that actually owns your home's mortgage. They'll give you an amount, kind of like a credit card, where you can take out as much of that as you want. So say if you apply for a home equity line of credit for 40,000, they might approve you, approve you for 35,000. But if you only need 25,000, then you just take out that 25K and you pay interest on that, basically like a credit card. And a home equity loan, that's a little bit different, and this is where you get a lump sum payment. It's, the, it's basically the same process, right? So you're basically putting up your home as collateral on a loan. And this loan is going to be a lump sum instead of a line of credit where you can access it repeatedly or and take up to a certain amount. The home equity loan just basically gives you uh, the lump sum up front, and then you end up paying that back over time. Now, the reason that these are so commonly used for home remodeling projects is because they're relatively easy to get in comparison with other means of acquiring capital. It's relatively quick. You can get it normally done. It depends on the state of the industry. Uh, it's more busy around this time of year, which is Christmas 2019. Um, but you can get them normally in between like 30 to 45 or 45 to 60 days, and your banker will be able to tell you that. And the third reason is because the interest is tax deductible when used to improve the value of your home. And that's the main draw for why you would use this over other means of financing your project if you don't have the cash up front. So we've had three different projects or we've had three different homeowners that have wanted to finance their projects in this way just in the past couple months. So I've gone ahead and put together a list of documents that you will need to take to the bank with you in order to apply for your home equity loan or your home equity line of credit. And these are two years of W-2s, two years of your tax returns, a statement of homeowner's insurance, a mortgage statement, and your two most recent pay stubs. And the reason they need all of this is basically as with any loan, they want to make sure that you'll be able to pay it back. And uh, they'll also come out to your house probably within a week or two after you file all of the paperwork and they will do a drive by appraisal of your home. Now this, this can, or sometimes they'll want to come in and look around the house, but normally they'll just literally drive in front of your house, look at the home and then give you a really rough appraisal of the house. And they use that as one of the determining factors for how much that they will write you a loan for. Now it's normally best to do this with the bank that has your mortgage because then they already have all of the paperwork on um, how much equity you have in the home and it reduces the number of steps and people that you have to go through to get the process started and finished. So that's our short video on how to use a, how to get and use a home equity line of credit or a home equity loan to finance your home remodeling project. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon.